Hey guys, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors and thanks for tuning in to this week's fishing report. To get things started off this week, I'd love to give a big shout out to Evan B. He caught his first ever walleye this past weekend. It was 26 inches long and his dad could not be more proud of him. So a huge shout out to Evan B. If you'd like to get your picture featured in next week's fishing report, please send them in to livingmnoutdoors at gmail.com. So let's dive right into this week's fishing report. All right, guys, we're going to start off this week's fishing report up at Lake Winnebogoshish. I talked to Chad from the Pines Resort. He told me fishing is still hot. They are really hammering the walleyes up there right now. He said still the go-to method is a jig and a minnow but the spinner bite with a night crawler or a leech is really starting to pick up as well. Now, he said target that three to 11 feet of water. He said sand flats, weed edges in that three to 11 feet have really been producing some nice walleyes. Plenty of them in the slot and plenty of those bigger class fish as well. Now, as far as pike go, he said the pike bite is starting to pick up. People are catching some really nice pike but the panfish and perch are really tough to come by right now. He said you can pick up some nice perch, but you really got to be willing to work for them. But the bluegills and crappies, they're still tough to find, and not a lot of people are having success on those. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Lake Winnebogoshish, the Pines Resort has cabins. They have tent sites, RV sites, and a beautiful resort to go along with that. Now they have a full bar and restaurant, so if you get hungry or thirsty while you're up on the lake, stop in, get something to eat or drink, and they have some really good homemade ice cream on top of that. Now if you want to book a guide trip, they do offer guide trips. They have fish cleaning, they have bait, they said they have plenty of shiners and other minnows in stock for this weekend, so make sure you swing in there and get some bait from them. So, if you guys are looking to get up to Lake Winnebogoshish this coming weekend, or in the future, make sure you go ahead and call Chad from the Pines Resort. Now, moving over to Leech Lake. I talked to Austin from Leech Lake Guide Team. He told me that fishing has been really good up there. He said if you're looking for walleyes, that 8 to 14 feet of water has been the key depth to find them in. Now, as far as what you're looking for, he said you got to find a transition. Sand to gravel sand of weeds, gravel to larger boulders. Uh, those are the key areas to be looking, as well as wind-blown sand flats. Now, as far as lures go, he said a jig and a minnow is still producing really well. They're using anywhere from a 16th ounce jig up to a quarter ounce jig. Now, their best colors have been a blue and white jig or a watermelon colored jig. Now, they're tipping those with a fat head, spot tail shiner, golden shiner, rainbows, whatever minnows, it doesn't really seem to matter. Those fish are really eating. Now, he did say that the spinner bite is starting to pick up, leech and a night crawler. Uh, they're dragging those in about that eight to 10 foot range and they're picking up some really nice fish as well. Now, he did say early morning or late evening, they've been trolling crankbaits in that eight to 10 foot of water and they're having really good success in those low light periods. So whether you like to troll or cast a jig or maybe pull some spinners, the bite is on and the fish are waiting for you. Now, if you're fishing the east side of the lake, he gave me a few suggestions on where to start looking. He said Pelican Island, Bear Island, and Battle Point are three really good locations to start searching for those walleyes. If you're targeting the west side of the lake, he said Grandview Flats, the Snake Pits, Star Point, Big Hardwood, Little Hardwood, Little Stony, and West Goose Flats are key areas to start searching. Now on top of the walleyes, they have been picking up some really big perch and some really nice crappies. So you can go out there, you can catch a mixed bag. You just gotta search around, get on top of those schools, and capitalize on the fish that you can get on top of. Now, if you guys are looking to book a guide on Leech Lake or Lake Winnebogoshish, Leech Lake Guide Team LLC, they have a group of six amazing guides. They're booking trips now. 
They do have some availability, so make sure you check out their website, their Facebook page, or give them a call and book a trip as soon as possible because I guarantee you they will not disappoint. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Leech Lake, I talked to Cam from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. He said they are pretty booked up on the weekends, but they do have some weekday availability and they do have openings in July, August, and so on. So if you're looking to get up there and stay at a resort, I would go ahead and book those dates as soon as possible. Now Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they have a full bar and restaurant. Their food is absolutely amazing. We're gonna be staying up there this coming weekend. They have full dockside service, gas, bait, whatever you're looking for, they can help you and you couldn't ask for friendlier people. So if you're looking to get up to Leech Lake, go ahead and call Cam from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. All right, now moving down to Mille Lacs Lake. I talked to Mark from the Norseman Guide Service. He's a smallmouth guide and he really knows what he's doing. Now this past week, he said them fish have pulled back out deeper. The cold front came in, we've gotten rain, the water temp dropped and those fish have pulled back out to eight to 16 feet of water. Now he said the fish are hanging on sharp breaks and the only way they've really been able to get them to eat is with a Ned rig in working it extremely slow. Last week they were getting them on jerk baits. He said that's no longer working. The fish are really sluggish, moving slow, and we could really use a warm up in the water temps to rise. Those fish will pull back in shallow and maybe even by the end of this weekend, those fish will be back up there and a lot easier to target. Now, if you're looking to book a trip out on Mille Lacs Lake to catch some world-class smallmouth bass, go ahead and contact Mark at the Norseman Guide Service. We have his number down below here and we link all the resorts and guides in the description below. So go ahead and check them all out and book a trip with Mark from the Norseman's Guide Service and catch some amazing smallmouth. One other thing Mark wanted me to mention is the Mille Lacs Lake Smallmouth Alliance. They do a lot of work with the lake to try and manage the smallmouth population. You can sign up to become a member. The proceeds to that go to help manage Mille Lacs Lake, keep the smallmouth population healthy, and just overall benefit that fishery. So go ahead, check out their website, look into becoming a member, and do your part in keeping the fishery as healthy as possible. Now guys, on May 27th, the bass season officially opens. You can keep bass, but out on Mille Lacs Lake, they are seeing a decline in that 17 and under range on the smallmouth. So if you are catching those fish, make sure you get a nice picture, take good care of them, and try and get them back into the lake as soon as possible so that that population can sustain itself and there'll be a great fishery for years to come. All right, now moving over to Castles Resort on the east side of the lake. I talked to Jeff today. He said the walleye bite has been pretty tough lately. The cold front, the rain, everything has kind of been messing with the fish. They're scattered out and they're finding them in anywhere from six all the way out to 28 feet of water. So it makes it kind of hard to hone in on that school of fish. Now he did say the best way to target them right now is with a slip bobber and a leech. That's how they're picking up most of their fish but it can be pretty tough. So find those good coordinates that you have, those high number areas, sit down and just hope that they'll swim through and you can pick them up on a slip bobber and a leech. Now, Castles Resort, they do run a launch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So if you'd like to go out on their launch and do some fishing, they provide the bait, the rod and reel, they do have handicap accessible bathrooms on that launch. So if you're in a wheelchair, you're more than welcome to come and they'll take great care of you. Now the cost to be on that launch is $35. In my opinion, that's well worth it. The captains know what they're doing and they're gonna put you on some fish. Now, if you are looking to stay at the resort, I'd go ahead and book that as soon as possible. They are filling up. They have some beautiful cabins there really nice accommodations. So go ahead, give Jeff a call from Castles Resort and book your trip. Well, that's going to do it for this week's fishing report. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. 
If you use any of the resorts or guides that we mentioned in the report, please let them know that you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. And like before, if you catch any fish, take some pictures, send them in to livingmnoutdoors at gmail.com, and we'll put you on next week's fishing report. Hope you guys get out, catch a bunch of fish this weekend. Remember, be kind at the boat ramps. Nobody needs to be bullied there. Let's help each other out. We're all fishermen and we're all just trying to have some fun. So good luck this weekend, stay safe, and if you're not doing so, get on out there and get living.